It's easy to say know your worth when your worth can be so consistently defined. When you aren't judged by the texture of your hair, that roll in your hip, or the way you cut your eyes. When people can say she's angry and you just be angry and it not associated with any stereotypes. I'm not an angry black woman. I'm a black woman and sometimes I get angry. But apparently that's not okay. Constantly being judged by my tone, but not actually what I say. I mean, we're all entitled to our opinions, right? But don't say yours too loud. In fact, could you just tone it down? There are other people around. I have a telephone voice. A sound I use to disguise the black that's on my skin. Because if I make my tone a little bit softer, make my pitch a little bit higher, maybe I'll disguise some of the melanin I'm drowning in. I am loud. And that's because I'm trying to be heard. And yes, I do try and have the last word. Because you didn't listen to the first. It's like we're not allowed to be strong. It's like we're not, allowed, we're not entitled to an opinion. We don't even own our own beauty. Big lips ain't shit unless Kylie Jenner has it. And a fat bum ain't the one unless it's Kim Kardashian. Black women were in human zoos up until 1958. Let's put that into context. That could have easily been your mother standing behind that fence being fed food by white dudes that will never understand the gravity behind these legs or the weight this ass has held. So yes, you will see me get angry. If you ever tell me that I am pretty for a black girl, why wouldn't I be angry? History has taught us nothing good has ever come from this skin. We are fantasized and fetishized because everyone wants to take a dip in some melanin, but when will we get the respect we deserve? See, we're good enough for your music videos, but bad bitches need to be seen and not heard. So this is for my Erica Badu's, my Lauren Hills, my Maya Angelou's, my Flowetry sisters, my Harriet Tubman's, my Shonda Rhimes, my black women who were trod on like the, but like the dust, they rise. This is for my black girls that know that they are not their hair or any other part of their anatomy. This is from my credit kings whose dreams might not be quotable but left an imprint on our reality. Sarah Reed, rest in peace. That's a black woman found dead while in police custody but didn't have enough testosterone to incite a rally. Black girls, you are magic. Black girls, you rock. Black girls, stand. And it's time we start believing that instead of just creating these hashtags. Thank you.